Autodesk Collaborative Project Management is a powerful tool for knowledge management on design and construction projects. What I mean by knowledge management is the management of information flow between one project team member and another, or one project phase to the next. Each user would log into the system using a unique username and password. Based on that information, the system understands who they are, what projects they should have access to, and what level of access they should have based on their role. It then displays the project information in a Windows Explorer format that allows them to navigate and find exactly what they need. The system is file type independent and can be used to share and collaborate on any type of document. As an example, if I wanted to download one of these CAD drawings, I can simply drag and drop it to my machine. I now have a copy of that to work on and make edits. If I've created a new version of this and I want to share that with the rest of the project team, I can simply drag and drop it right back into the system. Version control kicks in and says, hey, this file already exists in this folder. Would you like to update it? When I choose update, it archives the previous version to the versions tab and makes sure that everybody is going to get the new version when they download this file. It also can send an automated alert via email, sending everybody a link to the new version of the file and making sure they're aware of the change in that information. Previous versions can be accessed on the versions tab where you can go back and retrieve any old version of the file should you need to. The system can also be used to work in a scenario where multiple users would be working on the same file over the same period of time. Clearly, you do not want to create multiple versions that have different design intents from two different users. You can prevent that using the system check-in or check-out by locking a file before you download it. Now, when I download this to my machine, nobody else can make updates to this file while I'm working on it. As soon as I've made those changes, I can drag and drop it back into the system. I can choose to update that, i.e. create a new version, and send a notification out to the rest of the project team alerting them to that change. At the same time, the system will then unlock that file and allow the next user to work on it. This is a way to tightly integrate project team members whether they are in the same office or across geographic locations. Each user's access to the site can be controlled through the permissions matrix. This is a very easy way for a business user to control who has access to what on the site. The permissions matrix shows you all of your users down the left hand side and all of your projects across the top. There are eight levels of access that can be applied to each of the projects, folders, or files. As you can see, I can look and apply permissions right now at the project level, but I could drill into that and apply them at the subfolder level, or I could go all the way down to individual files, which would allow me to give multiple people access to the same folder, but show different files in that from one user to another. Changes are simply made by a right click and picking the new permission level. As you can see, Collaborative Project Management gives you a very powerful way of managing knowledge across your project team and making sure that everybody is aware of any changes to that data.